down the VGA side. Yes, sir. Over on the side of ODB, we have Lone Sharky in a tier seven like in Jolly Roger and Modest Rage rocking the E50s. A cop act AC your that's uh, that's all I can do on that one. Hmm. AC your M103. We got Kosh Kosh in the Mudbone in the Conquerors and Shooter Crazy 33 in the WZ111 1 4. For VGA over here, we have a pair of E50s. A T-34, a low, T-10, and a pair of E-75s. Alrighty, guys. First match out, you're going to see a big giant VGA symbol, because, uh, yet again, I'm trying, been trying to figure out how to, which VGA this is. So, you know what? I'm running old school. Or their logo just won't show up. That's okay, though. Tundra Encounter. What is it? There you go. Boom. Huge, giant VGA symbol. That's the same size of Utah. Well, kind of got a split early on by ODB. Now, did that Lycan make it all the way up into the... No, Lone Sharky did get caught out up there. Uh, maybe he's going to be able to empty a clip into these E50s. Got a little pin into him. Looks like ODB's E50s are coming in heavy right now. Ooh. Modest and Northern guy having a massive pile up right there. And Modest taking the, the worst end of the deal for sure. Interesting here is Jolly Roger pretty much head out. The rest of the ODB, man, they either nay, either get on the base or figure something out because they're now down their two key play nines. Those being those E50s. Sure. Um, everybody should know how, how, how important those E50s are. Man, those things won the WCLs. Yep. Mudbone here yes, sir, they did. really pushing forward. I, I, that's going to be a huge mistake, I think. Um, the Conqueror's flat ground armor is not meant for that. Just like there, he needs to back up, um, get into protection. Pizza Eater does end up going down over on the VGA side. We did min uh, miss that battle, but... Interesting pick with the low. Um, that thing has been getting armor buffs, but see, and this is why you cannot push on flat ground with a conch. It cannot keep up. That armor is m meant too much for being uh, pulled down. Now, Dampus falls and takes 1,038 damage right there. Wow. But yet again, ODB down three cannons, and three of those are superior uh, yeah. nines for comp. M103 yeah, this 103 needs to stop. He needs, he's got to get this hit. There we go. There we go. Get back a little bit out of it at least. Bone Shark, he does get a couple rounds into LM back there. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. He's on a reload and running on fumes. It's like Northern guy takes a hit. And wow. Base is capped. <laughs> wow. All right, then. All nice right. job by ODP. 
Yep, ODB keeping the pressure down and uh, VJ not pushing in to cover it. Gives ODB the first win out of the gate. Uh, damage wise here, oh, Kosh coming in with 1183, Lone Sharky with 1369 out of a tier 7 Lycan. You can't beat that. <laughs> and then AC coming in with the 1224. Um, Northern guy did have the two kills with the 1416. Pizza did have 1886, and that was pretty much split between those two E50s and a lot of that Lycan's health. But, all right, first round going out to be base cap for ODB. Like it. This word. Now, Hells. Yes, sir. ODB actually capped out with 101 cap points. Uh, Kosh got 51 points and Shooter Crazy got 50. So, I guess he got some extra bonus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have some pretty good chats going on already in there and the up there on the Twitch. It's awesome. Uh, remember tonight we do have the community stream. Have a little bit of fun. Get some big names of the sport up in here. So let's see if ODB makes an adjustment right here, Norm. Actually, tonight might just be pubs there, there guys, for the community stream. I, I need to get my next set of batch of codes from Wargaming. There's a few from one batch that we got that did not want to work. Which I did figure out. So and, uh, those people have already been informed. <laughs> nice. All right. Looks like ODB has got their lineup ready. VGA a little indecisive right now. Yep, ODB coming out the Lycan again, pair of E50s, M103 and triplet of conks. That would be a standard loadout except for the M103. I've been talking with people. The, this kind of off-centered um, style of gameplay has almost come to an end with the introductions of the mm -hmm. of, of the light tanks so i mean it's you're going to be looking at it, of course 770 and then it would be 763 and then tier 8 would what be 856 times 8 is 56 so yeah well seven yeah sometimes 750, 755 so no, it's, yeah, 756. 756. So, I mean, having this ticker anymore. But, all right, somebody you want to roll down the VGA, then we can get ready to rock and roll. Sure. For VGA over here, we have a Rev, a pair of E50s, a low, T10, E75, and a Conquer. Thank you very much, Happy. Ooh, that reminds me, we got to put a number one by ODB right now, so ODB get the number one. Very nice, very nice, very nice. 
new ranks came out. Sorry, the, the bronze division has not come out. But um, I've, as I've been telling people, unfortunately, um, hey, Shark, thank you for the subscribe. Get a man. Welcome to be being nice. one of us. Thank you for coming out. Um, but yeah, there, yeah, we had 40 teams, uh, new bronze teams, um, with stuff coming out. So, I mean, a lot of, and then there's still, uh, some more data that did get released from the, uh, Spanish tournament that is going on. So, um, you're probably going to see a little more shift yet again in the silver division. Um, Huge changes in the gold division and also in the silver division, but here we go. Let's get into this into this match here. You would think Jolly Roger and Modest Rage are not going to go YOLO no more. For sure, for sure. Now, I'm, I am a little bit in, surprised to see that once again both the E50s and that T10 are pushing the hill, leaving a uh, just a, a strong overmatch once again over at the cap. Especially if these E50s rotate over. I mean, you got to think almost that as soon as Dampus gets spotted right there, that the E50 should go ahead and even push across the bridge, especially with the slow as VJ is moving over towards his cap. But I guess the E75 is not going to be going anywhere quick that way. But I mean, even with the just with ODB's heavies that are headed that way, they have a serious overmatch with the three conks and the 103 against the Louvre, the the Rev. And uh, to the conk in the E75. So, looks like uh, VGA is actually trying to go ahead and swarm in. They know that Lycan's back there. Bad thing is that none of those guys, unless PT there, can get a good snap right here. That was the that was the snap. Lone Shark is going to go ahead and go down this time. He's not going to be able to get away from. Him. But Jolly and them and Modest are right there. Now they realize that the T10's over there. Yeah. So let's see what the action from the heavies are from Modest takes a huge hit there, but now Pizza's gonna get paid uh Modest, you gotta be easy, man. Don't the reason you just hit, kinda you wanna hold them here. Essentially because yeah, the hold you, her. Your, your working team is right here. Yeah, and they're they're actually putting some very good work into every one of VGA's heavies right now. The 103 is getting beat up a little bit with his position. He needs to side scrape right there if he's gonna play that far forward. But uh, they're definitely holding VGA's heavies at bay right now. Jolly and modest bail. Uh, the smart thing to do. By the time everybody else gets up and around, Pizza might get some rear shots on the Modest, but Jolly would be around. Yeah, great path right there by Modest Rage. Guys getting out of there. I, re I really would like to see Mo Modest just stay where he's at, and Jolly Roger, yeah, just needs to start putting work into that tier 8. Like Vegas fans, it's only going to be able to take one more hit from the C50. ODB needs to take uh, take full advantage, and the E50s are going to do that. Now here comes Dampest in the T10. He's yet again going to have rear shot. Oh, there was a bounce on the back end of Jolly. But now Conquerors not, uh, of Apache Indigo now has the Otis really going all in. Yeah. Playing a little bit of bait right there. I think it's going to end up paying out for ODB, though, in the end. And Jolly Roger... Apache Indigo should be on a one shot, but I think the conks now for ODB need to need to get up here in the fight. Mudbone coming in. Kosh is on a one shot. Nice hit right there. Mudbone's got to land a shot, and then Dampus should go down right here to Kosh. Oh, nice shot right there by LM 117 though. Well, wow. this is unfortunate because VGA actually has at least three tanks on a one shot right now. 
Yeah, and I mean, it, it, the bad thing was his ODB's collar not picking it up fast enough about movement of the Conkers. I didn't like the, where Python was at and where they placed everybody else. So maybe some rethoughts on their actions on that end. Python's turret must be broke. There it is. VGA gets the gets the W. Nice work right there. Man. Uh, let's see here. AC putting up donuts. Ouch. Don't shark you not getting anything this time either. Modest coming in with eleven hundred. Jolly twenty five. Mudbone, nine, oh, we'll give him 2k. Python coming out with 2445, and then Kosh coming out with a 1684 BGA. Uh, the Rev just couldn't get anything, so no, uh, the Rev you only putting up donuts. Uh, Apache coming out with the two kills and 1836. Pizza Eater with 3246 and a kill. Northern Guy, three kills, 2162. 15, uh, 1500 coming out of Moon Man. 19 coming out of LM. And then 13 out of Dampus Duck. Remember, choose your side. East, which way did you go? Well, I really, I, I guess I already know that answer considering me and you were running pubs earlier. You said the Germans? Dex, which side did you pick? I agree. Haven't even played yet. Well, we'll, we'll get some points going tonight then, huh? <laughs> I don't know. German or Death Star? German tanks? Ram Panther? Or what? Death Star? Well, Ram Panther? Uh, Death well, Star. I've been... <laughs> Put into context here, me and Beast were in a game. Um, Beast started counting. Uh, it was 19 out of was it 19 or 21 out of the out of the 30 tanks were Germans in a tier 10 match. So you're saying I need to run a Death Star just to blow tanks away? Get at it. No, no, no. What, what, what I'm suggesting is is um, so you're gonna get maybe I shouldn't talk about that on uh, on stream. <laughs> 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 we'll get out there I think you only need two more points and I'm done I don't know I mean, you're seeing a lot of Death Stars and 215Bs and Chieftains, but I think the all-out number that I've been seeing is just... It, and it, then even if you go down to the Tier 7, all you're seeing is... Uh, uh, Tiger, Tiger Ps, Hammers. Oh, yeah. One, three, ones. So you're saying I would have a lot of fun in the KV2? A lot of fun in the KV2? Mm -hmm. I, w I would think that there would be a good a good majority of uh, Cromwell, Cromwell B, Snake Bites, and uh, possibly Comets out, but it just they don't just seem they really don't seem as popular on console as uh, Blitz and PC. I do like the maps these guys are picking on. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw one very oddball one for tonight. Well, there was Tundra, which we just played, then Pilsen's coming out tonight. Yay, Pilsen! 
Uh -oh. On the bed of bed. One of VGA's guys just accidentally leave. Shut up. Very possible. Uh, here comes the, Possibly. That, that was, was that the minute and a half flash that you just flashed or the 30 second? Uh, should have been the 30 second. So, do you guys just want to run down oh, the there tanks we go. quick? Yep. All right, VGA rolling out T30, like in pair of E50s, T10, and pair of E75. Inside the ODB, they have a like in a pair of T10s, a 4502 Bravo, and a trio of Conquerors. Interesting pick with the Bravo. Does this guy not have any of the Conquerors? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Hills. maybe he has a lot of tier 10s, but not many Nine. stuff yeah. for lower tier. I will still <laughs> say that uh, that the tier 10 uh, uh, PZ7, I think it's a piece, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's a pile. Well, I'm not saying it. That's my opinion. Yeah, everybody's just going to go ahead and, uh, you know. Big big boy heat and big boy APCR just completely melts the turret on that thing. So yeah, exactly. I mean, if there's a tank that was made the, to just sit there and block standard rounds all day long, it was that tank. Right. So I I really did have high hopes for that thing, man. It was it was I I'm like God, that thing's gonna be a monster. But yeah, it's a good looking tank. Definitely a good looking tank. Oh, side scraping, but the, yet the minute you throw it into a side scrape, you know you're going to get ammo racked. See, you know, and it's 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 kind of weird because you the the Chrysler is is built somewhat like that thing, but that Chrysler, man, you can, you can stick your nose on a wall and you know and just reverse a little bit and side scrape out and they have they still have no possibility of pinning you what, what do we do i think that battle that we had yesterday hills oh no yesterday morning i was with one of my guys and we bounced between a e100 and an e4 shooting apcr we bounced 4k damage off of two different chryslers ouch Ooh, LM, that's getting... off the coppola yeah. Oh my god, LM I'm getting half melted there. Yeah, that Chrysler, man, that thing is no joke. And I think, honestly, um, the, the ground resistance is turned off. So right now, that's why it's so fast. Uh, is because Wargaming okay. has not yet um, put in the, the ground resistance on it. So, okay. I, I, I'm just warning everybody, expect it to probably slow down a little bit because of the ground resistance. Hmm. Moon that's Man a, that's needs to legitimate, slow though. down. Moon Man signing his own death warrant here. Yeah, definitely. Super aggressive. Overextended out of position right here. I mean, at this moment in time, these three heavies and the one T-30 are going to have to pull quadruple duty here, um, considering the whole ODB team's here, while the other part of the team of VGA is still stuck southward. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm wondering. I mean, these mediums are not going to have any troubles right now getting back to the cap in time. 20, 24 seconds, plenty oh, of time. Plenty of time. Gampus also YOLOing in right here. But, uh, yeah, Lone Shark, yeah, I guess actually got out of there right in time. Gampus goes down by C01. Yet again, they're, they're taking down tank by tank, taking these cannons out of the fight. Um, how much can these E-50s hold down? I mean, Mudbone's probably going to go down here. Yeah, I don't know how he doesn't realize that he's getting shot from the back right now, so. Rotates and then now puts, goes into a, into a side scrape. 
LM actually goes down. Apache Indigo, Lone Sharky, a little bit of liking on liking action right here. Nice shot by Shooter Crazy. Lone Sharky just being a pain in pizza eaters, but once again, it's enough to drive you crazy. Apache Indigo is on fumes as well. Lone Sharky gets hit with a nice shot by Northern Guy, but then Kosh puts a direct shot right into him. Trying to make it out there to, to before Northern Guy went down to get a different camera angle for you guys. But now Pizza's getting rushed. Bada bing, bada boom. ODB. Took this one. Great job, nice work. guys. Very nice work. Yo. These guys really like the Conquerors. And, you know, at turn nine, I think a lot of the time the Conqueror is undervalued. Considering the, uh, the pin of that heat and the, uh, EPM as opposed to the rest of the heavies. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Here on the VGA side, here we go. Pizza Eater with 1100, Moon Man with 1525, Castle coming in with a 1434. Over on the ODB side, Jolly only able to rack up 1622. Actually, that's not bad in a tier 9 match. Um, 16, anywhere, sure. between, anywhere between 16 to 21 is pretty good. And you, you can tell right now, like, Kosh with the 2486, Shooter Crazy with the 2773, uh, Mudbone coming in with the 2543. Iphon somehow ended up with Donuts. Across the board. He did get hit once for 456, but... Interesting. <laughs> And then Lone Shark, he did that yet again come out with a kill on 743. You can't, yet again, something like that coming out of your 7 light. That's huge. Yeah. So, what happened to, to Python exactly? I guess he got rammed? I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. No, he got pinned one time by a heavy, it looks like. Okay. Hell's on my feeling. I heard you're under the weather, so to speak. Yeah, it's... Internal systems, man, these things kick my butt sometimes, and I try to do what I can. But there's sometimes... What else is uh So do you think ODB is going to close this one out right here? Or do you think BGA is going to try to take this to the, uh, well, the tiebreaker? Nice. Let's see if we can take it to tiebreaker. It'd be quite nice. Um, but yet again, ODB. I don't know. Coming across this way, I do think the north does have a little bit more of an advantage to get into the city. Um, sure. So... I think ODB, this one has the uphill battle to try to get across, you know, that one, two, three area. Because, I mean, a well placed light tank in a certain area, say, at six, could light a Yeah, C6, then, C5. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even up in that area, and then a properly placed pair of E50s, man, can chew you up before you would really push into there. So. Um, I give this round to VG, uh, VGA sh might have this one, I don't know, but I can't count out ODB, these guys, these guys are seasoned, so, um, I'm 
I'm super excited to watch. For sure, for sure. Well, do you guys want to start running down tanks and hopefully VJ has their all their tanks up before we launch? All right, so ODB coming out with the like in pair of T10s, VKB and trio of conks. Right on. Just on the side mind. of VGA, we, we have a Lycan, we have an E50, we have a T10, and we have three E75s right now. A Wonder I changed my mind. and a Conqueror. E75. I was going to say, I wonder if that's going to, yeah, is that going to be their downfall? Yeah. Well, I just, I, I especially, I mean, if you, if you see, uh, OD or uh, VGA spawn right now, even with these E75s, are all the way at C0. And so I was actually interested to see, you know, what do you think, even even using that, uh, even using that Lycan as your tier 7, you know, maybe running a couple of bad APs or maybe a bad AP and a, uh, either a Skoda or possibly a t54 for a little increased dpm i mean i would into these tanks yeah i mean i, I would like to see if you have your t10s uh, you know have your pair pair of t10s and then run a pair of bat chats um and then say pair of is3s so say i mean the, the, a, a dream lineup two is3s two t10s a pair of bat chat ap's and then a kicker. And that, that kicker would be your choice. For sure. Um, I don't know, it'd be pretty diverse. Let's see here. Well, Lone Sharky, pretty oh, aggressive oh. right here. Yep, ODB's got this one. I, I had my spawn splits uh, messed up. ODB gets the yeah, good one. Oh, no. Muscle, muscle. This is... Yeah. So they're taking the E75s across the muddy fields. Yeah. It, it, and, and almost would have liked to see. Yeah. Yeah, look at the, the... I mean, even for the viewers here, look at the speed. Even the conk, which yeah, is slow, just... is already in the city. Go ahead, there be. Oh, I would actually there. like to see. Yeah, I would like to. I would actually like to see ODB right here push a little bit past the cap, side scrape these houses, and then go ahead and push these conks over into the C5 B4 area to get cross shots on these guys as they're just stalemated right here in the open. Yes, exactly. just a perfect place to set up a good, very very good crossfire. ODB being a little bit, uh, possibly almost a little bit too passive right here. If you allow all of these E75s to cross this field unopposed and get into a side scraping ability, then these conks are going to start hurting. Yeah, this is where yeah you Move. wanted to get these. If you're gonna, if you were going to let them roll in, you might as well should have ran like uh, a drop one conk and brought in a, a an extra T10. Yeah. Lone Sharky going down. No. But now VGH does have the flank, like we were talking about. So let's see yet again if Pizza. Pizza's going to get into position because Shooter Guy is going to try to side scrape this corner, and Kosh is trying to side scrape. So they're going to. Pizza's going to have rear shots on the Conkers and putting rear pressure on them. There they go. Kosh now realizing that he has an E50 behind him. Smart move by VGA. Get that E50 out there for the cross shot. And as you see, it Kosh is just paying for it. Wow. Dampus goes down, and then the focus into Moon Man right there was just amazing. But Python needs to push up. He's got to get in a fight. The Mumbo needs to get on the front side of these uh, E75 and the Conk. Just, just some hard work right here. Maybe the T10s, as long as they can handle Pizza Eater very quickly, ODB should be able to lock this out. But if they continue to let the C75 put in work, 
ODB could have some tanks start to go down. Nice work right there, though. Looks like ODB's going to be able to close this one out after all. Yes, they are. AC Yura coming around on Apache Indigo right now. Goes ahead and finishes him off. Northern guys in for the YOLO. Just off shooter crazy, but manages to get ammo rack. It's like he fixed it, but also lost almost 850 HP at the same time. Mudbone's coming in, and it's over. ODB. Great work Finish. tonight. 3 to 1. Done this damage here really fast here on the VGA side. Uh, Pete's Eater did come in with the 1868. Uh, Duck and his T10 2316. Moonman 1500. North, uh, North Cal guy coming in with the uh, 12 1246. Over on the ODB side, Shooter Crazy coming in with the 1990. Bone Shark, he's just able to not to get anything going this time, but he uh, did at least. He, he detect all five. He de detected five out of the seven at least. Kosh coming in with the two kills, 1440, uh, 1445. AC coming in with a kill, 1534. Python, two kills, 1695. Uh, the Mudbone coming in with 23, 12 and a kill. And then the winner win a chicken dinner is Jolly with one kill, 3124. ODB for the win. Great job. Later on this evening, we'll have the, the pub matches going on. Um, super excited for that. 